Hey, it's Wabbit. I have a very uh, niche t uh, type video for you that may not apply to everyone, but if you work from home, you've got two computers and you're looking to try and run the audio through an interface possibly. And in my particular case, I have the Rodecaster Pro. Now, you don't need this. Um, I bought this a few years ago. It wasn't purchased for this particular reason, but sometimes you have things laying around. You're like, hmm, can I make this happen? And what I wanted to do was basically be able to share the Rodecaster Pro with both computers. So obviously you've got your cable coming out from the back that plugs into your USB port of your computer. So uh, the, cur the old setup was this went right into the Mac. I'm like, how can I get this to work with the Windows? Now you may laugh at me because you may already know this when I get to the, the end of this because there's actually two ways of doing this. I'm going now with the second option that I'll show you. So you probably already know this uh, for those that have tried it, but just in case if you haven't. So I did some research. I'm like, okay, there's got to be a way that I can split the USB or share it. And sure enough, I found this particular cable here. This is a USB splitter. So basically the way this works is, again, you've got the cable plugged into, that's coming from the road. And then here is the USB end that's plugged into the splitter. And then what this does is it has a cable that runs into, in my particular case, the Mac. And then the other cable goes into the dock for this Windows machine. It also labels, as you can see here, number two, which represents these two dashes here. So if I were to push it to this position, this would go right to the Windows. And then if we looked on the back side, it would say one on the end of this cable. So right now I am in the, actually I have it on the Mac side. So let me switch it to the middle, which would be the off position. So neither device, if I look at the sound preferences on the Mac, there's no Rodecaster. And then if I go to the sound preferences, I'm on Bluetooth. I do have the Rodecaster paired as a Bluetooth and that already kind of gave away where I'm going to be headed. But bottom line, right now, nothing is accessing the Rodecaster. It's in the off position. So let's go ahead and switch it just to kind of show you how this works. If I switch it to one, the Rodecaster will pop up there. And there you see Rodecaster Pro. So if I go ahead and click play on this little clip here, uh, you should see the, the fader is set on the USB. I should get some audio that comes out of here. Let me click play. So that is the Mac audio that is coming Today. in through the Rodecaster. Okay, so there, here's the use case. I'd be actually, there's not be any work calls going on because I, I do a lot of uh, work calls that require use of a microphone. That was the other reason I wanted to use this Rodecaster so I could just have one microphone for both computers. So if I, you know, podcast or get on, you know, calls, I don't have to have a bunch of microphones here at the desk. So I've got right now in the position for the Mac, but let's say there's an actual work call. I now need to have the audio coming through the Rodecaster. So in this particular case, and if you just kind of watch the screen, I'm going to flip it to number the two position and you'll see this pop up here Rodecaster Pro and then again I don't have to change anything uh, I got the USB slider and in this particular case is go ahead and play this little clip here it takes a little bit to start loading and, character. and there you see the audio coming from yeah. the channel so now this is in again in the uh, two position so the Rodecaster is being used by the Windows machine this is where, yeah, at first I was like, this is pretty cool. I like this setup. But then as time went on, I'm like, wait a minute, this is a little bit kind of a pain. I got to go back and forth. There's got to be a way I can just have it come through. And then again, you probably already figured it out. I, I gave away a little bit of a hint. It's really this channel here, the Bluetooth. And th the reason is some Windows machines for security reasons, say your company, they may disable that. So I thought, let me try on mine and see. So what I'm going to do is connect to Bluetooth. So actually for this purpose, I'm gonna actually put this back into the one position. Um, after this video, this cable is going away. I'm no longer gonna use this, but again, for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave this in the one. So in theory, what's gonna happen is this cable, once I remove this, will go strictly into the Mac. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the Bluetooth button. And then when I come up to the Windows machine, I'm going to connect to the Rodecaster Pro and just wait for it to connect. I'm now paired. Let me bring up the slider volume on the Bluetooth. So what should happen now is when I click play on this 
video clip here on the Windows machine, we should get it's audio to say, coming through, the as you see, the Bluetooth. And then if I come to the Mac and do the same thing, click the play, I should get video Elder coming through the YouTube and or the, <laughs> the um, USB side. So that's the setup, and that's what I would recommend. If your computer allows you to access Bluetooth, there really is no need for this cable. So the only reason I could see this being needed is if you can't or you don't have the ability to access Bluetooth on one of the computers. So right now, everything is now controlled from the Rodecaster. So if I'm on a work call, boom, the Mac goes down. There's nothing really going on with work. Boom, I just switch back and forth. It's that simple. The nice thing I like about this is when I put my work computer to sleep and I turn off the road, when I wake everything back up, it automatically sees it. I don't have to manually you know, reconnect. Um, so anyway, again, I know a very specific use case scenario. You don't have to get this equipment to do this. There may be other options, but if you happen to have one of these laying around or in use and you have two computers, even if you're not working from home, um, but you want to, to do that, I just wanted to share with you. And, and that's just another cool thing about this road that uh, the, the Procast, there's so many uses for this particular uh, device. So I hope this helped. Uh, if it doesn't, then you know what to do. And uh, thanks for your time. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.